No, no, damn, YSL just be telling, huh? Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently YSL is now telling on DJ Academics. Yes, YSL. And apparently the motto in YSL is, throw anybody under the bus as long as you can get out of jail, okay? Sorry. YSL Woody do they three-hour tell-all. I mean, this guy is good, okay? He took his Check it out now. Damn, YSL just be telling, huh? Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently YSL is now telling on DJ Academics. Yes, myself. Yes, people, uh, in court recently, they have filed a motion to dismiss, and apparently the motto in YSL is throw anybody under the bus as long as you could get out of jail, okay? Sorry, nigga. I'm trying to come home, okay? Now, uh, they filed a motion to dismiss a, a, a one of the defendants in YSL, and they basically said that the disse dissemination of discovery material has made this case unfair, and they want the case to be dismissed. Now, what are we talking about? Now, it's a, a video of crime fighter and truth teller YSL Woody doing a three-hour tell-all. I mean, this guy is good, okay? He took his pulse. He did a backflip. Did couple push-ups, sit-ups, made sure he got his physical right, and he basically told for three hours he was he was answering questions that people ain't even ask. Volunteering information that people didn't even want to know. Okay, there was a time they even told him, bro, don't even tell us. He said, I'm gonna tell y'all anyway. He did this, they offered him a drink, he said no. They offered him some food, he said no. This guy's a dedicated guy, okay? Now the video of why so Woody is a video that is all around the internet. And by the way, if you want to go watch it, there's a link in my uh, description. You can go watch that thing. And essentially, it's why so Woody basically saying that Young Thug is a maniacal killer. He's a bloodthirsty goon who is now super rich, but he still wants to operate like a thug, like a gangster, like someone who's a mob boss, a area don. And because of that, this guy apparently said that he was being put in situations time and time again because of why selling Young Thug and he wanted to get out. He was down to try to set up like stings. He was trying to have the detectives wear wires. And that's the story of why so Woody's all detailed on this video. Now, why so Woody's gonna be one of the um, informants and cooperatives against Young Thug in this case, okay? How do we know this? Because the, one of the other defendants are saying that this is discovery material, which means it's going to be used in the case, all right? So why so Woody is going to cooperate against Young Thug. Now, if you ask me, the leaking of this video, and if you're wondering how it got out, the prosecutors did not seal this because this is a actual video that came from a separate case. This was like a couple years ago that he did this interview. This ain't recent. So he resolved whatever case he had, and people then submitted a request to see all the information of that case and found this video. Now, to me, this is a sloppy prosecutor work. If you know you got a, a truth teller, a crime fighter, that's going to be helping you take down a quote-unquote very dangerous gang, you should probably try to seal and try to hide all of the videos or transcripts that could detail the guy telling why because even if you have him locked away in some, you know, federal crime fighter, truth teller prison, what about his family? What about the people who can't afford to just get up and move and just disappear? Sometimes when people can't get to the person who's a truth teller, they get to their kids, they get to their mom, they get to their relatives, and they put the squeeze on that way. So let me get back to uh, the YSL defendant telling on me. Now, Woody ain't saying nothing. So, you know, the government has him hidden, but I feel like it's sloppy on the government because other people could be affected and they allowed us to leave. But one of the people who's the defendants that Woody's gonna tell on, essentially they're saying, yo, this info going out there and this video becoming viral, everybody has seen it and it's gonna make it impossible and unfair if we pick a jury because the jury probably gonna see this and they're probably gonna think Thug is guilty, okay? Now, while they were making their case for that, they brought my name up in court. And y'all gotta keep the same energy now, cause y'all said 6 9 snitched on Cardi B when Cardi B's name was brought up in court. Well, they brought my name up in court, okay? What are these YSL dudes? And they said, well, academics had a live stream watching the video, and in the comment section, people made comments like, yo, that pussy nigga deserved every whatever he got coming. He been ratting for 11 years. They had other screenshots as well from other people. However, 
they're using all of these things to say it's on it's no way that there could be a fair trial people are already making their their assumptions of what's right and what's going to happen based on the discovery being leaked and this needs to stop okay now i don't particularly think this is going to work okay they're trying to ask for this mistrial or trying to ask for this trial to be dismissed i don't think this is going to happen the state is putting too much resources into it they've called over and sub subpoenaed over a thousand possible jury members there's 14 attorneys who are ready to defend their 14 clients this is a major trial that's going down in atlanta everything is stopped for this trial they can't just say oh we're in a video leaked whatever what i think is going to happen is that the judge is probably going to make some some new decrees to say yo prosecutors y'all got snitches or anybody else lock up those videos or go back and whatever things you're going to use of these people make sure you protect them and make sure you protect this process because it's, it's not only unfair for the person who's telling the truth but it could be unfair for the people who's being told on as well so i don't think nothing is going to happen however um this is a huge case and i'm not that surprised that we have video of these ysl dudes you know what I mean? Who were so critical. And you got to remember, YSL was pretty much the the, 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 the the entity who were, through music and otherwise, trying to tell everybody else that they were the realist and that they didn't rock with people who told. And we're finding out the opposite, okay? You know, it's really easy when it's like, well, at least 6 9 wasn't like that. These are the guys who were like that. So what conclusion should we, we uh, uh, get now? If the guys who ain't like that is telling... And then the guys who is like that is telling. What does that tell you? I won't say it. I won't tell. You. <laughs> Get a comment box, you guys.